Hey guys, I'm here to uh, show you about a an iron filter. Now I want you to keep in mind that this particular one you see is a clack valve, and the only reason why I use it is because I get it at a lot less price, like basically wholesale prices. But it's not much less than what you're going to pay for the um, the Fleck 2510 that I'm going to have a um, down in the description. Going to have a reference to an Amazon, but they work exactly the same. I used to use the Flex. I use the clack now because for me. As a vent, not a vendor, but a a, um, a businessman, I get them for a lot less. I shouldn't say a lot less, but a little less. Nonetheless, um, I also have a three-year-old, so he may be interrupting us. Sorry, I'm a real guy doing a real deal. So, anyways, please bear with me. This this system, what it does is it traps air in the top of the tank. So when the water comes through, it splashes. It oxidizes the iron in the water and makes it a solid and then the media inside the tank catches it so you don't get water in your house. So I'm going to walk you through kind of a whole process. I'm going to show the testing before and after so you get a good idea of how it really works. Now here comes my three year old son. So yes buddy. Is this inside? That's an outside car. You can play with it outside okay? Alright thank you. So anyways back to the iron filter. Up here as you can see right now, it's in service, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take it out of service so the water goes through the top up here and does not go into the filter. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna also do the same thing for my water softener because water softeners will take out iron too. So if you have a lot of iron and you have hard water, then you're gonna wanna put in an iron filter first and then a water softener second. So if the iron filter doesn't catch it all, the water softener will get the rest. But I'm gonna show you today that the iron filter gets it all. This iron filter takes, up to, takes out up to 10 parts per million iron, but you have to remember one thing. You have to be, your pH has to be neutral. If you're below seven, usually 6.8 is as far down as I've gone. If it's lower than that, your iron filter will not take out the iron, all right? And if it's above that, typically you have soft water anyways. So just keep that in mind because I've looked at the reviews on Amazon and people have complained that they didn't have, uh, that the iron filter didn't work and that was because, probably because, their pH level was too low. You, the lowest I have, I think I've ever gone is 6.8 or 6.5, okay? Anything below that? is acidic water and the iron filter really won't work. But nonetheless, here we go. I'm gonna, I have a faucet that's after the tank and I'm using my iron, my, I call it my iron test, but just really my, my testing kit for water. Sorry, it's not a perfect laboratory. Um, but I use a testing kit to help people decide or understand and myself what's going on in the water. So we can determine how much iron is in the water and I may need it to run a little more. We'll see in a second. Funny how they have like a little Coke spoon. I don't know. That's what comes with the kit. And then we shake it, and we're supposed to wait a couple minutes, but as you can see, it's turning red. Um, I probably should have let it run a little bit more, but I know this water has about six parts per million iron. And there's a little, in this kit, it comes with a little uh, identifier. So as the more it gets red, like I said, it takes about two minutes to do but you can see we're probably at three or four already and so just for the sake of the video so it doesn't take us forever sorry again okay buddy well thank you for fixing it that's you did, did a great job can you come out of the well house please no i want to play in it okay my son wants to play in the well house but anyways as we're talking you can see it getting darker and darker Why? all right so we'll pour this out 
Stand back, buddy. Come out here. Thank you. All right, if you look up here, I'm going to put it back in service. And um, my water softener is not in service, okay? So I'm going to run some water. Can you bring that up here close to here? Now listen, listen, listen to the tank. Okay, you may, you may be able to hear water going through. That's because, back up a second. That's because up here, there's a bubble. And you should always hear water coming into the tank. If you don't, then it needs to regenerate and um, create that air bubble up here. So, now let's test the water. Going to rinse it out so we don't have residue from the last test. We'll have to wait a minute, buddy, okay? I'm working. Yes. Dad's working. I'm working. So we want to make sure we get the right amount in there. Oops, too much. That's pretty good right there. Like I said, I'm a real guy. Um, got real family, just like the rest of you guys. And I got real iron. So, it went through the system. We'll put our five parts per million, I mean our five drops in. Using our little spoon in our test kit. We'll drop it in there. We'll shake it up. And before, by now, it had already turned pink. And it's not doing anything. So you can see this iron filter really works. Now, the, this water, the pH for this water is a 7.2. So I know it's in a neutral zone, and it's going to work great. All right? So when you look at this filter, you're going to say, well, that's not the same as what's on Amazon. The reason for that is this. Clack cannot be sold over the internet. That's the agreement they have with all their vendors and distributors. However, Fleck was the first person to design the what's called the iron breaker system. They were the first ones to design it, then Clack came out with theirs afterward. They both work exactly the same. I just get a better deal on Clack for me and for my customers, so I use that, but I used to use the Fleck valve, okay? So anyways, down below, you're looking at five or six hundred dollars you'll see if you click on the link you'll see exactly how much it is but it's well worth the money the other thing you have to remember is this if you have a lot of iron and iron bacteria put chlorine in your well before you install the tank all right you can use a half a gallon if you like or a gallon you turn your water on inside the house get chlorine in your pipes inside the house once you do that turn it off install your system and once you install your system, then run the water through and do like your, the um, manufacturer tells you to do, and I'm you'll hungry. be okay. I'm what you want to do, I'm hungry. he's hungry, and he wants some string cheese with Chase from Paw Patrol. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Just a minute, buddy. Okay. Excuse me a moment. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I can't hear. There you go, Papa. Yummy. So... What you want to do is disinfect all your lines to get the iron bacteria out of those lines so that once you put your filter in, you're not going to have any problems afterward. All right? So use chlorine. Get them in your lines. Let them sit there for 45 minutes to an hour while you install the system, and you'll be okay after that. So go down below. Order your iron filter. I promise you, as long as you have a neutral pH, it takes out up to 10 parts per million iron, you'll be okay. And look, we're still clear this system really works. Thank you, and if you like it, give us a thumbs up, ask any questions you may have, 
I'll be certainly welcome to answer them. Have a great day.